This guy has over 7 million mastery points on Riven. The first guy to actually hit 7 million mastery points on Riven in the entire world. That's so much. If you go down to his OPGG, he started playing in Season 3 and he started playing Riven at this point, but not really that much. But as you go into the newer seasons, you will find him play more and more games. Even Season 5, he has played about 2,000 ranked games. And the more you go, the more ranked games this guy is actually playing. This is so insane. Just look at the amount of games that this guy has played. Hold on, I'm actually gonna check up how many games this guy has already played in ranked. Hold up, hold up. Okay, I just made a list of all the ranked games that he has played on this account with Riven. It's all listed here and we are gonna calculate right now to see how many ranked games he played. He played about 11,147 ranked games. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is so many games. I have never seen anybody play this many games so far. Holy, this is so much. What? This is actually so much. I'm just going down on the list to see if this guy maybe even plays normal games. Just what? This is so many. What is this? Oh, no way. So he, he seems to be playing Aram sometimes and he seems to be playing Flex as well. But I'm not really seeing any games where he plays normal, so I think this guy is only dedicating himself to the ranked games only. 11,147 games, man. Holy, you have a lot of time to spare. You have a lot of time, man. You know what we're gonna do? We are actually gonna go and spectate one of his games to see how good his mechanics are and how good he plays. But I, I'm really interested because this is so many games. I want I want to see how good this guy plays with this champion. I want to see it. So here we are in the game where he plays Riven against a Shen. And as it looks so far, he currently has the lane priority. That's, oh, he actually goes for an astray here. But anyway, uh, the game that he's currently playing in, all of the people are currently in Diamond 4 and Plat 1 ELO. So the game is kind of mid ELO right now. So this is very interesting. Let's actually see what's going to happen now. Shen is very low life, so we can actually kill him right now. Let's actually see what he's going to do. Oh, he actually used his shield right there. That's not very good. Lee Sin is actually here right now. He's going to get ganked. Maybe he can kill Shen. He actually goes in for the Shen. Shen flash away. Oh, he got him. Nice. He actually got him. Let's see if he gets away. Let's see if he actually gets away. Maybe he could have even turned this one around. I think he could. Ah, oh, he still dies by the Lee Sin anyway. Okay, he takes land priority. Kills Shen, but then dies to Lee Sin. Not too bad. Not too bad. He's pushing down the lane. He sees that the Anivia is missing from the mid lane. And he actually walks down into the jungle and he sees Anivia. He's actually going to go in for the kill. Shen has ultimate. He's going to ult Anivia. He's still going in for the kill even though Shen is, ult is using his ultimate on him. He needs to back off here. Still press his ultimate and he still tries to fight. But he's not going to win this boys. He's not going to win this. At least he has wasted Shen's ultimate. That's that's something good for sure, but he has to back off right now. So he just cleared the Herald with the jungler and he can now take down the top lane and finally get this turret down for. He currently has 137 CS and Shen has 77, which means that this guy is currently being about 60 CS ahead of Shen. Wow. Actually goes and take down the turret with the Herald. Shen is not looking to stop this. He actually runs off without using his dash. Does the double cast. Not too bad. His mechanics are pretty good. His mechanics are very good. Alright. Takes down the Shen under the tower. This guy is completely destroying Shen in lane. This huge CS lead that he has on Shen. The Herald which is taking down the towers. This guy... Is totally going to carry this game if he keeps going like this. This is very good. So now he keeps on pushing the tower. And he doesn't seem to really care about the enemy mid lane or jungle at all. He's actually staying. He's walking down instead of going back up. Actually. 
Gets away? No. He actually dies to Lee Sin. Okay, he just gave away a bounty of about 650 gold. Okay, that, that's, that's a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold to miss right now. That's not very good. Okay, so what you guys are about to experience right now is the skill of a guy which has played 11,000 something hundred games. You got, you gotta see this, guys. You gotta see this. So, he's gonna revive right now. Just wait a couple of more seconds. He sees the opportunity at the bottom, at the dragon, to TP in. So he goes to TP in, takes them from behind, guys. They're all at the dragon pit right now. Sees the opportunity. Jumps in over the wall, gets to the Lee Sin. Lee Sin jumps away, but that's no problem. Takes down the ADC and goes back over the wall. But this might get interesting. Look at this 11,000 rank games. Double cast the entire enemy team, and he actually gets to kill them all. He actually gets to kill them all. Wow. Wow. 11,000 rank games guys. This is why you should play this champion more than 10,000 times <laughs> He goes in to take a little bit more of the CS and they are still dead for a couple of more seconds But he's a little bit just overextending right now He's actually going in for the tower, but the enemy team shows up with both the support and the ADC They chase him down. He's trying to run away Doesn't seem like it's gonna happen Because he dies to the enemy team Feels bad, man. He, he just overextend too much. Just a little bit too much. If if they're being dead for three seconds, just, just walk off. You, you're not going to be able to do anything. So after the mistake that Riven made, she's about to be respawned within one second. And the whole team is grouping up for Baron at this point. Because the enemy team, they've been walking around here. They've been trying to contest for the Baron buff. But anyway, the one thing I want to show is Akali here in the bottom. Just take a look at this. So we're going to be taking a look at Akali trying to fight Shen. She's going in. Actually takes some damage on Shen. There's somebody teleporting right behind Akali. She takes down Shen. She goes in for the Anivia. Takes down Anivia as well. And this is going to allow Riven and the whole team to actually go and take the Baron buff. Not too bad. So here we are. They are taking the Baron buff right now. And Anivia and the Shen are still dead at this point. Anyway, the enemy team is still trying to contest for the Baron, but obviously they're not going to get it in, in a 4 against 3 situation. Anyway, Riven is getting kicked away, gets hit by the tornado, but still goes and takes down the enemy ADC. They're going in and chasing for the Lee Sin. Let's actually see if they get the Lee Sin. Let's actually see. Chase down Lee Sin. Then, okay, the jungler just took the Lee Sin down, and they are Pushing down the towers right now. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's actually see what he's up to right now. He's just walking past the tower. Actually goes in and take down the bottom and hip. I would do the same. What is he up to next? Actually, at, at this point, I would just go and take down that tower already. I would have just taken it down immediately. So they are now actually going to try and finish this game. They are grouping in the mid lane and they are trying to get the inhib down. Let's actually see what happens. Going in for the fight. Riven's getting stunned. She's actually... She's actually going in. She does not hit the stun. She lost the Guardian's Angel. Okay. She doesn't really get to kill anybody with, with her ultimate. Ah, too bad. She almost died. Okay. At least they got Shen. So they went back to base and they regrouped for the next Baron. And it seems like they are going for the fight again. Actually uses his ultimate. Hits five or four people with the wing slash. Wow. Okay, they're actually going to win this game right now. They just killed about four people. They only need a Nivea right now. They only need a Nivea. And what's going to happen? Let's actually see. Okay, all right. Well... Anyway, that was a very interesting game. Once again, this guy had a total of 7 million mastery points. And he has about 11,000 rank games being played. That is so many games. Wow. Wow. Actually, the highest mastery points of the entire game with Riven. Insane. Anyway, 
once again this was it for the video so thank you so much for watching if you are looking for a high elo riven stream make sure you come around my stream sometimes because i help people to get better at riven and the game itself also if you are looking for a nice and friendly uh community make sure you join my discord and uh i guess i'll see you guys in my next video man peace